Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week I'm in Penticton, British Columbia for the Peach City Beach Cruise. This is a really interesting place, which, believe it or not, is at the northern tip of the Sonoran Desert, the only official desert in Canada. And the cars at this event are absolutely incredible. Let me take you on a little tour and show you some of BC's best. Look at this dude, this dude's got it going on, man. <laughs> got the hat, he's got the stash, he's got the Mike Classic car shirt. I love it, I love it. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. Hey Ken, how you doing? Hi Dennis, good to see you. What a show, what a place. Penticton is an amazing place. It is gorgeous, isn't it Dennis? I love it, I just can't believe it. I can't believe the diversity of the cars you have here. We have it all. We've got from Antiques, Rods Customs, uh, you just name it, we've got it. We've got 26 different classes of cars, uh, Dennis. Yeah, well, you've got the biggest uh, aggregation of uh, SSRs, the little hot rod pickups I've ever seen. There's something like 60 of them or something here. That's right. And do people come here and just sort of, sort of make a, a bit of an extended holiday out of it? we got everything. You look at the scenery, you look at the cars, and believe it or not, Dennis, it's a small city. It's only 33,000 population, and it's a friendly little community. And we just love to see these people come up and have a good time. Hey, you got some great iron here. Let's check a little bit of it out before we both have to get busy. You bet. Let's go. All right. Well, Ewald, this is a car that you don't see very often, period. It's a 1959 190SL Mercedes. That's correct, yeah. And you sure don't see them hot-rotted. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you build this? Yes, we did, yeah. Where did the car come from? The customer brought the car in, basically brought a shell in with the, uh, I guess, a makeshift running gear yeah. in it. It what, wasn't the original anymore. What and, kind of uh, shape was it? Um, I would call it deceiving condition. <laughs> you know, when you look at the car, it looked okay, but once you get in there, there's a lot of issues. Let's put it the that way. The more you so, dug into it, the more issues yeah, you Yeah, you got to stop digging sometimes. So. <laughs> but man, you know, you've really, uh, you've really kept a lot of the original, well, you kept all the original lines, but even mm -hmm. the color scheme, this is pretty much an original Mercedes silver, and that red interior is almost identical to what it would have been in 59, yes? Yeah. I love the console. You've molded in some, I mean, is that fiberglass, I'm assuming? Yes, it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. we, in our mind, it really keeps in, 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 in keeping with the design of the overall car and the European taste in it and that sort of a thing. Well, and I love how you mm -hmm. kind of put the kick panel speakers into, you mold those in, and, and uh, you updated the gauging, but that's an original steering wheel, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. The steering wheel is all original. Actually, the gauge configuration itself is all original as well, with the three gauges on the bottom, um, with modern you know, interpretation thereof. Well, you've uh, you know added some uh, woof back here. I, I, I like the way you've got your subwoofers, and with the Mercedes emblem right there, too. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, thank you. The uh, the emblem kind of again brings it in together with the new millennium, with the it's an emblem from a newer Mercedes, um, with you know the modern interpretation of what it yeah. should be like. Well, and beautiful lines on this car. I mean, this is really the the pretty much the same car as the uh, the 300, only a little bit smaller, right? That's correct. Yeah. And this would have come originally with a four-cylinder engine. Or yes, something. it did. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. So that, hence the the 190. So under the yeah. hood is no longer the aluminum four-cylinder. No, we've got uh, a little more fun down here than what it uh, what it came with originally. This is what Mercedes would have done had the technology been available. Wow. So mm -hmm. you went Corvette. Yes, we did. Yeah. Holy mm -hmm. mackerel. So yeah. what what's that out of? That's from a mid '90s Corvette. Uh -huh. The mortar's more or less original. Um, we did enhance the, the fuel rail covers, put some three-dimensional uh, letters on there, that sort of thing, to kind of enhance it a bit more, and a little bit of, you know, bling to kind of yeah. spruce it up a bit more, but... Uh, well, you know, it fits pretty well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> you may yeah. say that now, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, she's, I, it's just, it's just stunning. I mean, the, the craftsmanship on this, and, and I like and, and, and the concepts. I mean, I love your engineering concepts and just your design concepts. It's uh, you must be a hot you. rodder at heart. We spend a lot of sleepless nights thinking about these sort of <laughs> things. And uh, you know, when you're out for dinner with your wife, you'd never tell her this. But, yeah, but, uh, but you really you know where the mind goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, this is an absolutely beautiful car, Well, and I'm so glad you brought it out, man. Thank you very much. Oh, 190 mm. Mercedes SL. Welcome back to my classic car. Well, Patsy, this is a beautiful rig. This is a very fine rig you got here. This is a, a 49 Chev. I always call them hucksters. What are they, what are they officially called? Uh, Chevrolet Canopy Express. Canopy Express. Yeah. And, and they were really made to, to be this sort of, you know, farmer's market, uh, you know, show your wares type truck, right? Yeah. The original trucks actually came with plastic boxes in the back. Oh, really? So yeah. you could just 
Put your stuff in. Put your stuff in and, and off head you off. Go. So it's and, all um, been redone. Totally. It took two gentlemen nine months, what? full time, to redo it. And, and tons and, of money, right? <laughs> and, it's, and it's flawless. Yeah. It is. I mean, no, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Would this have been a correct color? Yes, it is. We yeah. actually, when the truck, we bought the truck, it came with the color chips. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. And, and, and how about this little pinstriping? That, that as was far a... as I know, absolutely everything on the truck is correct. I just, I love it. I yes. love it. Yeah. The, the the interior stock, but now this, it's a separated seat. I thought they were all bench seats in, in the trucks. No, actually, it only came with the driver's seat. So that was, so you could stack even more stuff, eh? Exactly. It was for more produce. Wow. Yeah. Well, this really takes me back. I learned to drive on a truck about this vintage. And, and it has, you still have the floor starter. Do you still use that? I mean. Yes, and it's uh, very interesting to get it started. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, you I need mean, three feet. <laughs> you do. I mean, you have to have big feet. You don't have big feet. No. How do you do it? I usually put the park brake on, put her in neutral, and then that way I can use my left foot for the gas pedal and my right foot Just for the starter button. Stand up on it, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But even to the back, there's, I mean, there was no metal on the sides or the back, and that's how they came, right? Exactly. That's exactly how they came. And uh, our probably number one question when we're at car shows is, it, is this an aftermarket cutout? Uh -huh. And we say, no, it's factory dragged. So do you still have the, the original engine in it, the correct yes. engine? Yes, yes. We have a 216 Thriftmaster. 216 Thriftmaster. Yeah. Let's go have a look. Okay. <laughs> There she is. Wow, that is neat. 216 Thriftmaster. Thrift Master. Right. Wow. She's and I mean, it does look completely correct. As far as we know, everything's correct. The oil bath, mm -hmm. little brass rat on her, ah, and yes. she just drives like a dream. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I imagine it does just kind of run like a sewing machine, huh? She does. We've actually had people, when the truck is running, they'll ask you if we could start the truck, and we say, it's it, running. It, it's running already. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's just really, really quiet. Yeah. Now, go ahead and close her up. She's a show special. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you don't... <laughs> She's a truck, too, though. Boom. Yeah. So you don't really... I mean, you don't drive this around. It's really just... For, it's for these kind of occasions, right? Yeah, we pretty well use her for shows. And she's definitely a show favorite. Oh, the absolutely. people just love her. Yeah. Oh, well, it's so beautiful. And, and, and she's yours. Yes. <laughs> Pretty For, proud. 49 Chevy Canopy Express. Yes. And you're the huckster. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. Thanks a bunch. A pleasure. Beautiful truck. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Okay, Fran. <laughs> What is it? What is this baby? This is a 1973 Manta Mirage. Where was it made? Made in California. Really? It's a McLaren race car made street legal. So Ooh. it's been widened out by uh, the Lovett brothers yeah. that uh, formed the company Manta. From 1970 to 1983, they built these cars. They built them through 83? Yes. How many yeah. did they make? We don't know. Uh, they made several, and there's only 144 registered on, in the world on the internet. Huh. So exactly how many were made was nobody knows. What an insane looking car. Thank you. Is it, is it, <laughs> is it fiberglass? Yes, it is. Fiberglass. And, and what's the frame? Manta frame itself. Really? Yeah. The frame is, uh, the whole car is basically itself, except it has uh, uh, a Volkswagen front end and a Corvair transaxle. How but other than that, that? It's, it's all race car. Wow. Well, it's, uh, I mean, it's low. Yeah. It's like really, really low yeah. and extremely wide. Yes. Uh, it's made for speed and cornering. Uh-huh. Uh, so you can take corners at a high speed. And, and it works? I mean, does it hold the road pretty well? Oh, yes, yes. The radiator's up front, Yeah. which sucks the air from under the ground. So it pulls the car to the ground, puts the air on top <laughs> of the car, and pushes the car to the ground. It's got to be gull wing. Right? Yes, can it I is. open it up? Yo, go for it. Like, just yep. grab it? Just, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, you know, it's uh, kind of a cool instrument package, too. Yeah, there's, there's a little bit of everything. For everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oil temperature, heat temperature, uh, speed, tack. Tiny little steering wheel. I mean, is this thing squirrely or does it really run pretty well? Oh, it runs great. Uh, I live 400 miles from here and drove it down. You drove this thing here? Yeah. 400 yeah. miles? 400 miles. Wow. Yeah. I, am, I am definitely impressed. Uh, okay, so how does this how does this close? There's now? a lever right here. You yeah. got okay. Give it a flick, and down it goes. And then how about the engine, uh, which the I'm engine. assuming is here? Yep. Oh, you know, you know, when I honestly, when I first saw this, oh, it's a trick body on a Volkswagen. That ain't yeah. that ain't a Volkswagen engine. No. What is no. that? It's a 327 stroked out to a 402, pushing about 450 horse. Insane headers there. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of, it's kind of the bundle of snakes thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> now how does this close? Quite simple. Just, just lifts up. Down she goes. 
It sounds like metal, but that she's all glass, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. What does it weigh? 1,100 kilos with me in it. So, so 11, so, so like 2,300 pounds. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. And how many horsepower? 450. Holy mackerel! That's a just about for every five pounds, there's a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Does it get a lot of attention? Oh, yeah. yeah. I never lose it. I walk out of a department store in a mall. I look for the crowd, and there's my That's, car. <laughs> man. Well, it's, I, I got to tell you, it's the first one I've ever seen. It's, uh, it's, it's very cool, man. Oh, uh, thank you. Thanks for bringing it out, Fran. Much appreciated. Cool. Terry, this is a beauty. Thank you. A 1956 Meteor Rideau. Right. Now that's a that's a Canadian built car, right? Canadian built, right. It's kind of a it, it's kind of like a 56 Fairlane, but it's but it's a Meteor. Yes, right. It's a 56 Fairlane body with Meteor trim so they could make the three-tone paint color which yeah. the bottom could be white, the black, the flash black, mandarin up above. I think it's a snappier trim there. The flash is really uh, I mean, it sets this car off. I think it's yes, just beautiful. It and originally, this was it was white, black, and Mandarin. That's right. But you took it all back in Mandarin. I took it all back in Mandarin because the data plate said all Mandarin. That yeah. looks good. Now, the the interior wouldn't have been this shocking, would it? <laughs> no, the interior was black and white, and uh, we changed it to uh, Mandarin and black to match the outside of the car. Well, it does pop. That's it it? good. It's power windows, power seat. Uh, air conditioning. Wow. I mean, this was an option car. Yes, air conditioning it was. in a convertible. Yes. That's got to be. How many did they make of these? Uh, 479 in Canada. Wow. Only. I mean, that's not many at all. No. Uh, and, and I like the, the Mandarin and black contrast there in the dash, too. You know, got the Mandarin back yes. there with the black gauges and then the black hood. It looks just, it just looks great. And uh, Continental kit, I mean, did, uh, did it have that? No, it didn't. I bought that at Continental Enterprises in Kelowna. Uh, they, the, they make them up here, right? Yes, right. Yeah. They make them up here. The bumper is with the car. And then it just moved it back? Yes. And the uh, exhaust ports was with the car too. So you had to, yeah, that's right, it was cut through, so you had to yes. extend your exhaust to get it. That's right, that. yeah. So if it wasn't long enough before. It is now. It is now. <laughs> what powered the uh, the 56 Rideau? The 312 Y block. Oh yeah. Oh, I like your I like your valve covers. Yeah, they were made by Dale Arden in Victoria. Well, you got the only uh, 56 Rideau here. Yes. Beautiful so. car, Terry. Thanks, Thanks for bringing Dennis. it up. Thank you. Meteor Rideau. Right. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Esther, this is a really cute car. And this Thank is yours, you. right? Yes, it is. It is. It's a 63 Rambler American. Yes. And it's a 440H. Yes. So, wow. The other thing is, it's a very low mileage car, right? Yes, it is. It has, right now, 28,000 miles on it. That's unbelievable. Just turned over yesterday. Now, where are you from? Colville, Washington, so Washington northeastern State. Washington and state. Where did the car come from? Uh, the car was originally sold new in Colville oh, really? uh, by our now Toyota dealer, who used to be a Rambler dealer. Well, it's you know it's hard to get a Rambler dealership these days. You know, I think really, so. <laughs> they're, they're a hot commodity. Mm -hmm. And the interior looks completely unrestored. I mean, is it? Uh, we haven't done anything to the interior except just clean it up. Man. It's entirely original. Seats, carpet. What's the two shift levers? Okay, the uh, it is a. Uh, Borg Warner transmission. It has a three-speed manual, and the shifter on the right is the overdrive, and you, it's progressive, so you can use the overdrive in second or third gear. So in essence, you have five gears on this if you want to use You're it kidding. that way. You know, and these are almost um, they're almost Studebaker Lark in their lines. They're very similar. But yes. boy, putting that uh, white stripe there really sets this baby off. Mm -hmm. Cute little tail light. I mean, these are happy cars. But you got some pretty trick wheels on there. Are you a hot rodder? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes you're a hot rodder. <laughs> well, what, uh, what moves this uh, 440H around? Okay. The, the original inline six? Yes. What were these? These were like uh, 195s, weren't they, or something like that? Uh, yeah, 195.6 cubic inch, and it um, has a two barrel carburetor, so they're able to get 138 horsepower out of this, whereas the single barrel has 125. Oh, wow. And so if you 13... only bought a 440, that's what you got. Oh, so the H is so, for hot. Hot. It's hot. Hot. <laughs> well, Esther, I love your car. I'm thank so glad you. you brought it out. Okay, thank you. Oh, man. What a cool place. What a cool show. The Peach City Beach Cruise in Penticton, British Columbia is about as much fun as you can have either side of the border. <laughs>